Good morning, ESM. I'm Casey. And I'm Abby. What's our show based on today? Um, so we're going to be talking today about our ESM day and a few things that happened later in this year. Um, and we're going to talk about mostly our personal experiences with what ESM day is because like half of you here know what it is and half you don't. So it's kind of important to talk about it. All right. More about that after news and an announcement about the food bank. Martin Junior Honor Society has partnered with the Food Bank of CNY to help fight hunger during the pandemic. To help out, you can visit foodbankcny.org and donate. There will also be a shopping cart in the main lobby where you can donate physical goods. The physical items will be donated to St. Matthew's Food Pantry. The virtual food drive will go to May 15, 2021. During this time of need, donations are needed more than ever. If you have any other questions, please speak to Mr. Sweeney or Ms. Mock. The FBI and several law enforcement officers helped search for Stephen Broderick, a former Travis County Sheriff's Office detective who was a main suspect of a de deadly shooting that resulted in the deaths of Amanda Broderick, 35, Alyssa Marie Broderick, 17, and William Simmons, the third, who was also 18, on Sunday in Northwest Austin. After the shooting, a shelter in place was ordered while SWAT units and helicopters searched the nearby area. Broderick was finally apprehended and transported back to Travis County on Monday just after 7 a.m. He has been charged with capital murder and a second-degree felony and is currently being held without bail. In other news, former President Donald Trump said he is seriously considering running for re-election in 2024. In a Fox News interview Monday, Trump said it's a possibility for him to run again, but he does not really want to talk about it just yet because of legal issues. He did not elaborate further on this subject. All New York State judges can court staff are set to return to their courthouses all in person on May 24th. Chief Judge Janet D. Fiore said it is time to return to our normal and full courthouse staffing levels in order to support the fuller resumption of in-person operations, including jury trials and other proceedings in our court. D. Fiore had sent out messages to other courthouse staff members about this, along with a citation of the stationwide increases of vaccinations and the decrease in cases for COVID. The courthouse will continue the safety measures of wearing a mask and sanitizing. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention, any senior who wants to or is already participating in this year's Senior Variety Show, there is a mandatory meeting today at 7.30 p.m. Mark your calendars, in person or virtual, your choice. Senior Variety Show class code is JKD. 6NCU. The deadline for t-shirts are extended um, sorry, to next Friday, which is this Friday, April 23rd at 3.20. Please fill out the order form. All right, so our, we're talking about ESM today and um, just some quick backs around it. So it originally started out as our, um, our DECA spring uh, picnic. Um, and some of our, and our, our, one of our old principals, um, Santuli, wanted to um, expand that for everyone here and actually bring everyone here together to actually spend more time here with everyone at the school. Nowadays, ESM Day includes a bunch of activities, indoor and outdoor, in the hopes that nobody skips out on what is formerly known as Senior Skip Day. I mean, in the school, we usually have like some classes, like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, they were trying to do this to get people to come and actually hang out and not stay home all day. And there's activities galore. Now, now we briefly going o we're briefly going to go over what activities. I'm personally someone who was more inside, but we did have activities outside. Some of these activities included some video game tournaments like Smash Brothers two years ago and some 2K basketball games. Um, we also had, um, for our freshman year, we had face painting and a lot of card games like Magic the Gathering and just like Uno and all that inside. So most of our food also was inside, so we had uh, free lunches that day with like lunch coupons. They were nice and small. A lot of people passed them around sometimes. We also did have ice cream, which I believe two years ago was outside, right? Yes, yeah. everything was outside two years ago. All right. um, and pretty much all that, I really enjoyed it. and. I tend to do most of the things inside, but yeah. 
As for me, I was more of an outdoors person. I enjoyed participating in kickball, the bounce house obstacles, including the one where you stood on pedestals and tried to knock the other person mm -hmm. out. I also loved going to the photo booth with a bunch of my friends to take silly pictures with the props. And there was a large chalk drawing session where you would just draw whatever you'd like. And although I didn't participate, there was also the powder puff and frisbee. And overall, I just walked around outside because it was always nice out when we had an ESM day. Mm -hmm. Now that kind of basically covers what we're doing for e what we did for ESM Day, and we do have events outside of ESM Day, but we'll talk about that in our next incubator after weather. into the later morning, ending around 10 a.m., but then the forecast looks to be dry for after school today. Oh, today to is going to be cooler than yesterday with more clouds and highs near 55, and there will be some snow developing after midnight tonight. We can expect to see a slushy coating to an inch or two of accumulation possible by sunrise with lows in the low to mid 30s tonight. Tomorrow is going to be brisk and much colder with some rain or snow tapering to full snow showers during the afternoon, and we're going to see at least a slushy coating and maybe even up to two inches of snow accumulation. The higher terrain, especially north and west of Syracuse, may even see up to four inches, and highs will be around 40 with wind chill temps of 25 to 30. Thursday is going to be unseasonably cold again with lake effect snow showers possibly mixing in with the rain during the afternoon, and highs are going to be in the mid 40s with wind chills ranging from 25 to 35. Friday is going to be getting a little closer to the expected spring weather with some breeze, sunshine, and highs in the upper 50s. And this weekend looks nice with sun on Saturday and highs in the 60s. Sunday will be a little cooler with highs close to 50 and a slight chance of rain. And finally, to start off next week, Monday is going to be breezy with a chance of a few showers and highs in the upper 50s. And I'm Allie with your weather. And although ESM Day is great, we're going to talk about the CNY High School Film Festival. It was held originally in June. The festival promotes student films and awards that are given. You may have made a movie or f for fun in class, but many different categories are also giving awards, and the deadline is to submit by May 1st. See Mr. Ferris in B13 if you have any questions. It's now sports. You should enter the CNY High School Film Festival. This is the 17th year the festival will be accepting all kinds of films, from documentaries to music videos. You can even come up with an original idea. You have until May 1st to enter, so get filming! at JD on Wednesday. The girls volleyball team lost to FM yesterday. Laura Sitnik had three kills in the loss. The boys volleyball team lost 3-0 to CNS. Cole Thomas led with, with 18 digs. Seven Curry continued his hot streak when he scored 49 points in a win for the Warriors against the Philadelphia 76ers. Curry is the first player in NBA history to make 73 point shots in only 10 games. Newly signed Seattle Seahawk Eldon Smith is wanted in New Orleans for a second degree battery charge. This incident happened two days after signing with the Seahawks. I'm Aiden with your sports. All right, um, so our school we know isn't actually going to, com hasn't confirmed yet um, if we're gonna have an ESM day, but hopefully we've sparked your interest so, you, so we can participate this year and if we have one this year or next year. All right, so from Casey, myself, and everyone here on the morning show, have a great day. And as Mr. McSweeney says, ESM day is life. <laughs>